Western Championship game matches the favorite, seven-time champ UCLA against Louisville, which is making its first trip to the NCAA Finals since 1959. This game will have special significance as Louisville coach Denny Crum was John Wooden's chief assistant at UCLA the last three years and played an important role in each of those championship seasons. In fact, the UCLA team that Louisville will face is one that was largely recruited by Crum. The Bruins draw first blood with Bill Walton, their outstanding sophomore center, scoring on a tip. Walton is 6'11 and considered the best big man to come along since Lou Alcindor, who also played at UCLA. Louisville counters by unleashing Jim Price. It's All-America guard. And Price goes right to work, scoring six of the Cardinals' first ten points. Walden, however, is overpowering. In the first half of play, he scores 24 of UCLA's 39 points. And pulls down 16 of 30 rebounds. Louisville, though shooting poorly and totally out-rebounded, manages to stay reasonably close. The Bruins, perhaps overconfident, are playing sloppy ball, and Wooden lets them know it in no uncertain terms. from reserve guard Larry Carter, number 10, refused to buckle. The half ends with UCLA holding an eight-point lead. The Bruins pick right up again with Walton dominating the boards and triggering fast breaks. Walton, one of three sophomore starters, has led UCLA to an undefeated season in such impressive fashion that many are already calling this team the best of UCLA's many great teams. One of them is Louisville coach Denny Crum. And impressive they are, hitting 62% of their shots in the first 14 minutes of the second half and pulling to a 16-point lead despite Louisville's 55% shooting. During a timeout, Crum tries desperately to find a way up. Now that weak side rebound and get position over there. Now turn around with the ball up. Look at you. Turn around and Now, or you can throw it back out and run the double kick for Crum. Throw it back out and run the double screen. That means you got to get open, Larry. We'll run the double kick for the guard cut. All right, let's go. But the blow ends are just too tough. As they have done all season, they keep getting stronger and stronger as the game goes on. At the final buzzer, the score is 96 to 77. State, the unlikely challenger looking for its first. UCLA scores first on a short jump by Henry Vivi, the only senior of the starting five. Again on this shot by Keith Wilkes, 
and takes a four to nothing lead. But then Florida State showing tremendous character does what no team this season has been able to do against UCLA, take control of the game. Seminoles hit seven of their first ten shots, hold to a 21 to 14 lead. And prevent Bill Walton from scoring a field goal. The sweet smell of success is brief. The Bruins score the next nine points. Walton ends his drought with a basket to tie the score at 21. <laughs> 